Before the video starts, make sure to join the Slice Melon Discord server displayed on screen. It's a great community where you can share your work, get advice and more. We hope to see you there soon. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a wood UI in Photopea. So if you don't know how to access Photop, it will be in the description, but you can also type this in at Photop and it should be the first one that comes up. So once you've got onto Photop, as always, press new project and then change the dimensions to what you want. Always make the DPI 300 and press create. Once you've done this, you can create a new layer. Then we want to get the rectangle tool, which is here and choose a color for the wood so i'm going to choose something like this change the corner radius because i want it to be rounded see what this looks like and i think that size is okay so okay so now I want to add a stroke and a drop shadow to the frame. I'm just gonna pick this color and make it darker. Maybe a bit more. Drop shadow. It's the color into here. And change the distance. Make sure the angle's at 90 so it fits. And then we want to make the stroke the same. Like this. Hey, okay. that looks good. So now obviously it doesn't look like a wood yet. It's just the right colors. So what we want to do now is create another layer above this one. And come here to the brush tool. You want to make sure the opacity is on 100 and your settings are like this here. You can then change the size, something like this. We actually want to bring this moving quite far up. Open like a hundred would work, but you can change it to less if you want it to be a bit more stylized. I'm going to keep it a hundred. Now, if you go to your, whoops, if you go to your color down here and you can color pick the color that we just used for the border. I'm going to zoom in here with control plus and you want to draw some wood lines. Depends really what you want, but if you draw this, I'm not the best at wood UI, so bear with me. Obviously it won't look good at the start, but we're going to add some details and hopefully it will turn out good at the end. Okay, so once you've once you're happy with the lines, you wanna go here to the layer, right click and press clip it mask. Now as you can see, it's moved down. So now you wanna click on here, change the blur mode to overlay and bring it down. You don't want it too visible, but you still wanna see it. So I think that looks good. You can add more brush strokes um make it a bit more detailed if you make the brush smaller these can be a bit more random okay so you can also make those overlay and turn it down
hey this is starting to look a bit better now so now we want to actually give it some texture so if you get this color again and go to your pen tool make sure that you change this from path to shape Change the fill color for this one and then we just want to add some cracks in the wood like this you can do as many as you want but make sure you don't overdo it you want to select all of these and make them clipping masks Okay, um, I'm gonna add some more detail to this. If you double click on one of your shapes, that will get you into the blending options. Then you can add a drop shadow to this. And I'm just gonna make it like that. Um, you can make it something like this. And then can copy the layer style do that you just hold alt and drag that just adds a little more detail to it i'm gonna make this frame a bit lighter because i think i made it too dark shadow a bit lighter means I have to delete all of these and do them again okay so that's really the wood frame we can copy this copy these bars as well and drag it up then if we make this smaller and get it out a bit and then if we move the lines we want to center this now we have a wooden frame um, Obviously you can mess with the colors how you want. I prefer it to be a bit lighter like not that. Um, more like this. I personally think that looks better. Um, obviously, this is very simple. It's something you can do really quickly and it turns out great. You can obviously do what you do with a normal frame. So, I'll add some text. And I'll type codes. And then add the stroke. And yeah, that's really that's really how you do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next one.